Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Monday. Today is the 13th of May. 13th of May, May 13th, 2024. And here we are by the grace of God, giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what again for this brand new day. Why? Because this is the day which the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He founded it. He established it. He established it. He founded it. It all belongs to him. It's just up to us, you and I, or you and me, or us to get with the program. We are here by the grace of God. Oh my goodness, mind your business and stop being nosy. Oh. Anywho, I am um, safely, the Lord God has brought me to the workplace. I'm here, I'm parking, I'm backing into what has become one of my favorite spots, right? And for whatever reason, um, there's a car and um, the car is going around, but I kind of heard a piece of the conversation between the driver of the car and the security officer that's at the entrance, right? So I went through another little aisle, whatever, lane, right? And so I'm parking and so I'm looking now that this car is driving by me to see, um, well, let me see who that is, right? Because I heard a piece of their conversation. And so I'm backing into this spot and um, I'm looking to see, well, I don't know the person, don't recognize them, not one iota. And then I hear and feel, oh, Lord, y'all, I done back my car into the wall behind me. Thank you, Jesus, that it was a bump. But thank you, Jesus, that it was the wall and not a car. Well, I would have backed in. in anywho, being nosy. So then like 1.2 seconds later, I was like, oh, why my head hurt a little bit? Oh, my neck is hurting a little bit. Well, I jolted myself when I bumped this wall. Oh, Jesus, give me strength. Okay, so that's what we get for being nosy. We've got to do what? Mind our own business. So I'm looking, trying to be nosy, not focusing. Okay, anywho, beloved, by the grace of God, it's Monday and we're here. Um, still have to delete. Well, I'm deleting a lot of videos from that I've posted, but I haven't like posted them to my my front seat Facebook nor J. Rob Roberts from my front seat um, YouTube. So I'm trying to post them there and then delete. Post them there and then delete. It's time consuming, y'all. But anyhow, I really had something I wanted to share with you all. Um, be encouraged. Stay encouraged. I witnessed something on Saturday evening that blessed me tremendously, right? I give God the glory for it. But as I witnessed this, my mind went to Exodus chapter 17, the entire chapter, but especially verses 12 and 13. And I only know that because, of course, I looked it up to make sure where the scripture was found, you know, this story in the Bible. But it was this story. So um, the word of God lets us know that... Um, Moses, he has, see, that's me being nosy, looking, right? Okay. So, as long as Moses' arms were held up, the children of God prevailed. The word of God says the battle is going on. It's hot. The, 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 the sun is beating down. There's only so much that we can do of our own strength. And even that is because God allows us, you know, that strength to do. The word of God says that as Moses grew tired, that um, his arms began to, right? 
Oh, nope. Let's get those arms back up in the air, Moses. So the word of God says that they gave Moses a stone to sit on. So, okay, whew, okay, that gives some relief, right? But he had to keep his arms up. And as long as his arms were up, the children of God prevailed, right? When the arms began to come down, mm -mm, they were becoming defeated. So they, he had to keep his arms up. So the word of God says that Aaron and her, now we know Aaron, Moses' brother, right? You just go, and I'm going to send your brother. He going to speak for you. You going to tell him what to say. He going to say it. So the word of God says that Aaron held up one arm. Her, H-U-R, held up the other arm. And he was able to keep arms up, right? Beloved, I submit to you. You cannot do it by yourself. The strength that you have, you might exercise, you you might do all these things that you do, right? However, it's God who has enabled and blessed to be able to do it. Now, um, the word of God says that, you know, this physical exercise that we do, it profits us, but it don't profit us like the word of God profits us. Anywho, anywho, anywho. So you may be doing these things, but it, remember, it's God who enabled you to do it. And then when you grow weary, be not weary in your well-doing. Our physical man, it gets tired. Lean and depend upon the Lord. God will send someone to give you that stone to sit on. Give you that added extra support. I witnessed this. And the young lady was given support, right? And then... The, the young lady's um, instructor, director, teacher, mentor, I don't know what the word would be, then encouraged her, right? And the young lady is calling out on the Lord. And you can see every facial expression. She is calling out to Jesus. Beloved, you call out to Jesus and Jesus will send someone to give you something to support you, whether it's a stone to sit on or an Aaron and a her to hold your arms up. I don't know if you're Aaron. I don't know if you're her, but you need to be holding up the arms of your, your pastor, your mentor, your leader, your shepherd, whatever you 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 hold those arms up and if you are the one with the responsibility of arms being held high you call out to the lord do not give up and god is going to give you your strength well it's about um 6 38 i believe because i'm about 10 minutes fast i have my coffee from my favorite restaurant jack in the box black no cream no sugar and i got me a side of bacon and um, anywho, I'm going to get out of this car. I will take my breakfast, get out of this car, make my way upstairs. And in about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we meet again on when? On tomorrow. From where? From my front seat. This your girl Sharon. I got so much to share with y'all. But this your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.